Bit of something else, 4848 here. And so then, this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Cydia repo um, without needing to actually make it yourself. So, what I've um, done is I've made an Apple script um, to make a Cydia repo for you. It does all the terminal commands and everything. And um, you don't need to install install um, any programs or anything for this to work. And Apple script um, comes with Mac OS X. Uh, so, um, anyway. Uh, here's the uh, program, just need to double click on it and uh, t um, just shows my email um, you can, so you can um, email me just in case you've got any problems with that or you found it, find any glitches with that which it probably wouldn't be any... I um, don't even need to press OK now now let's see, um, to right click um, on the application go to package contents and drag the um, thing that's this auto repo and the icon is also drag this need to drag it to Macintosh HD and devices. Okay, so you um, need to press OK now. Um, over here, the first time you run this, um, you need to press No. But um, I've already um, done this before, so you um, need to press Yes. Or so basically what this does is you press No. It'll take about 5 or 10 minutes to install DPGK. So um, now what you need to do is um, type in the name of a theme. Now um, to make this theme work you need to um, put your theme or application um, and you need to make sure there's an extension, for example theme, uh, there is um, dot theme or app that's dot app. You need to drag, you need to rename an application to AAPP -P, or a theme to A-T-H-E-M-E -E dot theme. You see, need to press enter now or OK. You need to select um, if you're using a theme or application. So I'm using a theme. And um, it's all just say, um, basically what this does is opens up um, a file that you need to put like description and things of an um, application that you want to put in Cydia. OK, so um, what you need to do is you need to add in a description repo made with macmaster4848 at gmail.com auto repo maker so you need to do this um, if you want me to like help you with um, this or anything and um, basically you just need to enter that in the description so once you've en entered um, all the things here like package you need to replace company with your company and app name with your app name and so on. You need to um, not edit architecture um, and all the other ones you can edit. So just save it when you're finished and it will um, show this uh, this with a repo um, description and things like that. So you can't edit this um, line here, suit um, and architecture and components. Okay, so um, in 30 seconds a new one appears and once you've got repo open um, finder will do the display dialog so you can still edit it after the 30 seconds and you can also edit the other one so all you've got to do is just um, go to file and save and it will automatically put it in all the right places and everything so I just pause this okay so as you can see um, you need to activate finder and um, you need to press um, Basically, it says, "Have you used this repo maker before on this computer?" This also includes if you've ever made a repo on your computer. So, if, um, need to press yes because I've already done that. Okay, so this will run a few um, terminal commands. Um, I was going to make it an app, uh, do the commands in Apple Script, but um, some things wouldn't work because um, it was too glitchy and stuff. Anyway, um, all you, all you need to do now is you're going to have a um, a folder in applications. Okay, so the f um, actually it's in Macintosh HD. Sorry, you're going to have a folder um, called Auto Repo. If you open it, you have Control um, dot release, um, Control and release. Um, you need to delete these and also um. We'll soon update the repo um, maker so that it will automatically delete these. Anyway, I don't think it makes a difference if you leave them. 
So as you can see in repo, it's got all the files that you need. See, so also got the deb file. Okay, so um, also in builds, so you can see it put um copy the theme here, and in DBN there's a control file. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Please rate, comment this video, um, subscribe, and check out my other tutorials and videos. And also the download link is in the description if you haven't seen the description yet.